Hello everybody, it's Brian for GadgetUnit.com and today I'll be taking a look at the Everyone series for the iPhone 5. This comes courtesy of Ballistic Case and the case itself comes in a number of different color combinations, each of which are available for $49.99 from GoBallisticCase.com. The particular color combination that I'll be taking a look at in this video is the black and gray combo. And this kit includes both a thin but still very protective case as well as a matching belt clip. So if you want a belt clip and a very ultra protective case, this would definitely be a kit to take a look at. So the packaging itself is a bit generic. It's the same packaging that they use for the everyone kit for their other smartphones. So let's go ahead and get into the packaging and take a look at what we have. But right off the bat, this case itself is actually quite thin for the amount of protection that it offers. So in the kit, you get the belt clip itself, the case, as well as a ballistic sticker that you could stick wherever you would like. Now here's the case. It's made of a number of different materials all put together. The front cover here has its own screen protector. As you can tell, you don't have an actual screen film included because they want you to use the integrated one into the case. On my phone though, I have an anti-glare protection film because that's just how I roll. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the case by taking it apart first. So we have this front portion that's held together to the rest of the case thanks to these four, as Ballistic calls it, active latches. So this keeps the front portion of the case latched onto the actual case itself. And it also gives you bumper protection for your corners, thanks to the rubber here along the corners. The screen protector itself has a cutout at the top so that your front facing camera and the various sensors up there will still work. And there's also a little home button cover right here. On the inside of the case, we have rubber along the inside and we have some dots around the outside surrounding the ballistic logo to give your phone a bit of shock protection. The same rubber material is also throughout the sides as well as the back of the case to give you grip and even more shock protection. Let's go ahead and put the case, or excuse me, the phone into the case. All you have to do is put the phone into the main case portion like so. Take the top piece and put that over your phone. And you'll then be able to start using everything. So it could be a little bit tricky, but you just need to make sure that the four corners are snapped into place like so. And this is what the case looks like once it's installed onto your iPhone 5. From the side, it actually doesn't add too much bulk. And with this case, you're getting a fair amount of drop protection and overall protection. And this is actually really cool. I'm impressed by this. I've been impressed by it when I've been using it. The home button itself works just fine, as you can tell. Let's go ahead and take a basic tour of the case. Starting on the left side, we have a volume up and down nub. They, are, they take a little bit of extra effort to press, however, you still get a fair amount of feedback when pressing them. Above that, we have a little silicone cover for your silent switch. It's not the largest cutout. It is a bit recessed. It's not too hard to get into. It's not too easy. I'd say it's just about fine. Moving towards the top, we have a power button nub. It takes a little bit of extra effort to press, but you'd still get a fair amount of feedback when pressing it. Along the bottom, we have holes for your speaker and microphone, and we also have a flap that covers up your lightning port and your 3.5 millimeter headset jack. Now there's not too much room surrounding the headphone jack, so if you use headphones with larger plugs, you will probably have an issue when using this particular case. On the back, we have a nicely sized cutout for our camera, as well as a black lining to help reduce any issues with your flash that you might encounter. There's also the ballistic logo. The black portion here is actually black and glossy, so this will attract scratches quite well, as well as fingerprints. And on the bottom, as you can tell, we have a little kickstand. This actually worries me a little bit in terms of longevity because this is basically a thin piece of plastic that comes out from your back of your case. To extend it all the way, you just have to pull it back until it snaps into place like that, and you're able to use it in landscape orientation like so, landscape right. And you could also use it in portrait if you would like, although it's not as stable, so using it in the landscape orientation is recommended. There's also a little piece of that rubber material at the bottom to help your phone have some grip. So that's put back into place. Let's go ahead and take a look at the belt clip real quick, and this is what it looks like. So you 
have to put your phone in display first into the case and it just snaps into place and it's held in very securely to take your phone back out just lift the latch back a little bit and your phone can come out very easily there's also a cutout at the bottom so that when you get a phone call the audio will still be able to come out of the belt clip without any issues the clip itself is very strong it can also rotate 180 degrees so if you need to rotate it you are free to do so I actually didn't use the belt clip because it's just something that I personally don't use. The case itself is very cool. I wish they offered a version without the integrated screen protector. It's just a little bit annoying to me, although it works just fine. There's no issues in terms of sensitivity or anything like that. And what's good about this is actually that you don't have a bit of a gap between the screen protector and your actual display. A lot of cases with the these integrated screen protectors, when you push down on your display, you can actually feel the integrated screen protector move down a little bit because there's an ever so small gap between that screen protector and your display. So with this particular case, I haven't experienced that. Might be because I already have a screen protector installed. I don't know, but that's not the case here. Like I said, the home button cover is just fine. And around that is some black glossy material just like on the back so this area here will probably get a lot of fingerprints so over time this case definitely probably definitely probably probably will not look as nice as it did when you first took it out of the packaging so there, for mine there's a fair amount of smudges around the back definitely some scratches fingerprints as you can tell Overall, if you are looking for an ultra protective case that gives you plenty of drop and excuse me, drop and shock protection without adding too much bulk to your device, the Ballistic Everyone series is definitely an option to take a look at. It comes in a number of different color combinations to suit pretty much everyone who's interested in this case, and I like this quite a bit. One thing I need to note though is that it does add a bit in terms of width to your iPhone 5, so it's it feels a little bit wider when you're holding the phone in your hand. I think that's just fine though. So that's a quick look at the Ballistic Everyone series case for the iPhone 5. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback about this or anything else, feel free to leave those down below in the comments area. But that's it with this video. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll talk to you all very soon.